Today's topic is acute flaccid myelitis, AFM. Acute flaccid myelitis, AFM, is a rare but serious condition that affects the spinal cord. It can cause sudden weakness in the arms or legs, loss of muscle tone, and loss of reflexes. The condition mainly affects young children. Most children have a mild respiratory illness or a fever caused by a viral infection about one to two weeks before developing symptoms of acute flaccid myelitis. Symptoms. The most common signs and symptoms of acute flaccid myelitis include sudden arm or leg weakness, sudden loss of muscle tone, sudden loss of reflexes. Other possible signs and symptoms include difficulty moving the eyes or drooping eyelids, facial droop or weakness, difficulty with swallowing or slurred speech, pain in the arms, legs, neck, or back. Uncommon symptoms might include numbness or tingling, inability to pass urine. Severe symptoms involve respiratory failure due to the muscles involved in breathing become weak. It is also possible to experience life-threatening body temperature changes and blood pressure instability. Causes Acute flaccid myelitis might be caused by an infection with a type of virus known as an enterovirus. Respiratory illnesses and fever from enteroviruses are common, especially in children. Most people recover. It is not clear why some people with an enterovirus infection develop acute flaccid myelitis. In the United States, many viruses, including enteroviruses, circulate between August and November. This is when acute flaccid myelitis outbreaks tend to occur. The symptoms of acute flaccid myelitis can look similar to those of the viral disease polio, but none of the acute flaccid myelitis cases in the United States have been caused by the polio virus. Diagnosis To diagnose acute flaccid myelitis, the doctor starts with a thorough medical history and physical exam. The doctor might recommend lab tests, Magnetic Resonant Imaging, MRI, Examining the Nervous System, a Nerve Check. Acute flaccid myelitis can be hard to diagnose because it shares many of the same symptoms as other neurological diseases, such as Guillain-Barr syndrome. These tests can help distinguish acute flaccid myelitis from other conditions. Treatment. Currently, there is no specific treatment for acute flaccid myelitis. Treatment is aimed at managing symptoms. A doctor who specializes in treating brain and spinal cord illnesses, neurologist, might recommend physical or occupational therapy to help with arm or leg weakness. If physical therapy is started during the initial phase of the illness, it might improve long-term recovery. The doctor might also recommend treatment with immunoglobulin that contains healthy antibodies from healthy donors drugs that lower inflammation in the body, corticosteroids, or antiviral drugs. Or the doctor might recommend a treatment that removes and replaces blood plasma, plasma exchange. However, it's not clear whether these types of treatments have any benefits. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.